Who Back, back when? when? Hello, and welcome to Who Back When, a Doctor Who podcast. This is a special bonus episode. I don't know why I'm gesticulating while I'm saying all this. This is a special bonus episode because it is sort of an introduction cast. You may have heard the news. Flapjack, a.k.a. Flaphammer, a.k.a. Jackhammer, a.k.a. Jack, has regenerated. And we now have a completely brand spanking new co-host on Who Back When. His name is The Rawmeister, and he's actually sitting right across from me right now here at Punk Plaza. Hello, Rawmeister! Uh, hello, very happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I won't talk like that. <laughs> oh, I want to see if you can keep that up through all the <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, by the way, hi, I'm Ponkin. Check this out. First of all, two things. If you have um, accidentally stumbled upon this podcast and this is the first episode of Who Back When You're Listening To, probably not the best place to start. <laughs> but thank you very much for tuning in. I suggest you check out another one of our review yeah, podcasts. Please do. But yes, I know, and I apologize profusely for the slight hiatus that we've had with the Classic Who Reviews. It turns out, Flapjack, he will be returning to the show occasionally for the odds review here and there. But rather than make you wait until then and have progress with one uh, Classic Who serial every... I'm not going to give you a time, but let's say, e.g. six months, let's just get on with the show. A lot of you will be fans of Ponkin and Friends. <laughs> 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 what, what can you estimate a percentage there? <laughs> Nord point. <laughs> no. <laughs> Am I the only fan of Ponkin yes. Friends? Yes. <laughs> Actually, I quite like it as well. So, um, Not what you said earlier. Before doing Who Back When, I dabbled in podcasting and had a little show called Ponkin and Friends, which you should never check out because <laughs> it sucks. No, no, no. It was fun. It was good practice. And the Rawmeister was a frequent co-host mm. on Ponkin and Friends. In fact, you can go to Ponkin.com and check out any episode except for the pilot one. Yeah, please <laughs> don't check the, the Rawmeister, and you'll have a fantastic and marvellous example of the banter that he provides. So, Rawmeister, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Um, I, I've I'm... been talking ad nauseum. Go for it, go for it. Who are you? Who am I? Yeah, uh... why am I listening to you? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really difficult question to answer. I might need to take a pause there while I think. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so, well, I suppose the main thing to say about myself, I've been told to downplay this, but I am <laughs> not quite a Doctor Who virgin, but I'm very inexperienced in the realm of Doctor Who. I've only, you know, gotten to a few bases, if you will. Ah, oh, um, <laughs> you got to second base of <laughs> Doctor Who? Yeah, it's... What is that? Um, is, that, is that when you finger John Pertwee? <laughs> <laughs> Shall I give you a rundown of my Doctor Who experience to the best of my memory? If you like, go for it. So, I think the first time I watched Doctor Who was probably one of the worst places you could possibly start. Was um, that? So there was some kind of special in the 90s. I'm going to say 1994. <laughs> Are you thinking 1996 starring Paul McGann? I don't know who it was starring. <laughs> it could have been, oh, so it, well. It could have been anybody, but I do know that it was in so-called 3D. Oh. In other words, it had to wear the blue and red specs. That, oh, nice. Uh, you know, we, it, was, it was for, like, I think either comic relief or children in need, one of those things. Or all I really remember is putting on the 3D glasses and not really being able to see much difference, except, <laughs> except for the colour being off, and I was tremendously disappointed, because at the time I was, I don't know how old, I was like maybe 10 or something. Uh, oh my god, 3D television, that's going to be amazing! And then, what Wait, you saw this on this? TV? This was on TV, yeah. Oh, so this so I be... don't think it was a movie. I no, think this, it was like a not, short... this cannot be the Paul McGann I think it thing. was like maybe like a half hour like little oh, special okay. or something. So, like I said, I, this is just vague memories from my childhood so I don't really know what it JD was. JD will be able to figure out yeah. what this is. I mean it probably it probably barely even counts as an episode but that was <laughs> my introduction to Doctor Who and okay. uh, <laughs> it was quite a disappointing thing for me unfortunately. Okay. Um, so I don't think I saw anything else until this sort of rebooted series began. Yeah, I think I saw the Yeah I think I saw part of the first episode of that it was like a Christmas special of Billy Piper. Okay. <laughs> hubba hubba. Yeah who you know to me, she is still better known as the pop star. <laughs> she won her short-lived pop career before she became an actress, I suppose. Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> You're looking real cool. Uh, Beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> um, You're I'm very heavily that, into sci-fi. There are a few things I'm quite into. Okay. But I'm not like a... I'm not one of those guys who knows everything about every sci-fi show. There are, like, the majority of sci-fi shows I probably haven't seen, you know? Okay. Even to the extent... You know, I'm quite into Star Trek, but I haven't seen actually all that much of it. I've seen, Wait, like... what? Surely you've seen all of Star Trek? No. No, not at all. 
Okay. Like, I've seen little bits of it, and I really like those little bits, but I've never seen, like... I doubt I've... I've, I've probably seen most of, like, the original series. Okay. I doubt I've seen every episode of the original series, though. Oh, wow. And I've probably seen, like, less than half of TNG and next to none of the other series. Okay. I haven't even seen all the movies. I all right. No, seen... wait, wait, hang on. Okay, let, this is no, Let me just interrupt this... you for a second there. So, to all the listeners who uh, haven't turned off this podcast yet, <laughs> <laughs> here is why I really, really want the Rollmeister to join <laughs> who back when. Okay, numero uno, we have podcasted so so many times in the past. Yes. I mean, we don't, I don't even know how many Ponkin and Friends episodes we did. We did tons of them. You were the most frequently recurring uh, guest co-host, I think we were all referred to, or you were all <laughs> referred to at the time, uh, as at the time. There is that. Like, I know that we have fucking tremendous fun recording shit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is really selling it to them. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, you have, and please don't take this the wrong way, you have a certain sort of obsessive compulsive nature when it comes to TV shows and like pop culture in any in any form, really. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, like much as I, you know, I, I would I would say Star Trek wise, I'm a casual fan, sure. but I deeply, deeply love a few of the movies, for example. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you probably know. Yeah. Okay. Especially yeah, yeah. Number Four. I exactly. you know, pulled that Inside <laughs> Out, and you know, it's Star Trek Two as well, and you know, a couple of the others I enjoy a great deal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do tend to get quite intensely into things occasionally. Red Dwarf, I probably know that pretty much inside out as well. Back to the uh, Future. Yes. Battlestar yeah. Galactica reboot. Yeah, definitely. Bingo I'm Bongo. the only person who ever watched that twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the show survived. I think I'm the only person who didn't hate the finale. <laughs> probably. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, so there is that. And so you I also have, s- have a lot of just sort of geek knowledge, in a way. You you yeah. may downplay this yourself, but you seriously do. So I, I'm, I have no doubt that you watching Doctor Who and most of this for the first time. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen who maybe think, like, why haven't you brought on someone to Who Back When who has this sort of encyclopedic knowledge of Who already? Like, bear in mind, I've never seen any of these classic episodes <laughs> until very shortly before recording these these podcasts. So the, I would love to share the whole experience of popping our Who cherries. <laughs> <laughs> And bear in mind, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, not that I was there to actually witness the sexual act in question, but I was there in the aftermath of the Rawmeister popping his Die Hard cherry, for instance. Oh, yes. Yeah, being yeah, a bongo, yeah. right? After many, many sort of, I don't know, like three or four years of you intensely trying to make me watch that yeah. movie. Uh, and uh, <laughs> quoting this film to you constantly. Yep, see Ponkin and Friends for details. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you want, like, what I would potentially bring to the podcast is a great deal of irreverence, <laughs> which everyone loves. Uh, 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 probably a unusually sl- slanty view of, <laughs> no, a skew with view or something. I don't know. Are there any sort of ninth, sorry to cut you off? No, are there any sort of sixties, seventies, maybe even eighties sci-fi shows that you enjoy? Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek. Okay, that's Star Trek. Yes, but I like TV shows from that era. Thunderbirds. Is that count? Thunderbirds. I, I fucking love Thunderbirds. That oh. was my childhood encapsulated you know, in I mean, puppetry. I very nearly, I very nearly got you a gift yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Thunderbirds box set. Oh my god, would you Why enjoy that? You, uh, yes, I'm really sorry I didn't get it for you. <laughs> <It's> okay, <laughs> you don't need to buy me a random gift for no reason. No, I love Thunderbirds. It's like for a show that reused stock footage so intensely, <laughs> I really loved it. You like I shows? I watched the launch <laughs> sequence of Thunderbird two ad nauseum. That was a 70s show, right? Um, I, th- I think it was 60s, 60s. actually. I'm not completely in that case, sure. Dude, Meister, if you like 60s shows that reuse stock footage, you are in for a treat. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Why shoot something new when you've got, <laughs> you've got one perfectly good shot that uh, you could perfectly in encapsulate every everything you're trying to convey in the scene? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I mean, I love some weirdly obscure things. A lot of things that were aimed at children, I suppose. Like, um, there was this show in the either late 80s or early 90s, a kid's show called What on Earth, okay. written by and this is entering into the realm of obscure things I happen to know about Doctor Who oh. written by uh, Pip and Jane Baker who I believe wrote some of Doctor Who oh really yeah and they wrote a kid show um, JD confirm and they what, <laughs> and so yes they wrote this kid show called What on Earth was about this alien who befriends a young boy and the alien uh, can he turn into random objects if he needs to hide himself but he's quite bad at it so it's always wrong so he's like uh, you know a, a cup with two handles or something or an oval shape 
shaped golf ball, that kind Ooh, of thing. Okay. Really cool shell. It's on YouTube, I think, or at least some of it is. What on earth? Yeah. Um, awesome. But very, very obscure shell. <laughs> and another one, also written by another Doctor Who person, uh, a show called Dark Season. Okay. Which was like just six episodes, again on the BBC, early 90s, and that was written by Russell T. Davis. Oh, wow. Yeah. and uh, Early Russell. Yeah. And it's uh, also the first thing Kate Winslet was ever in. Oh, cool. And that was a, that was a really cool show. For a, like, seven or eight-year-old, it was very, very scary. It was all about this uh, evil company who give all these kids free computers, and uh, it sort of turns them into, uh, like, zombie... Drone type thing. Yeah. yeah, like, this girl turns it on, and her eyes kind of go silvery, and she's in this weird daze. Really cool. Awesome. Yeah. You should definitely watch it. There's, like, there'll be three hours of your life, but <laughs> it's probably on YouTube. Okay. But as a kid, it scared me, and you'll probably see why. But I like to think I'm probably the only person who's seen both of those shows and not really watched Doctor Who. <laughs> I think that's an entirely likely possibility. Well, the weird thing is, I don't know why I know that these shows are written by people who are involved in Doctor Who. I think, like, just the names stuck in my head as okay. a kid, you know, seeing them on, like, the opening credits or something, sure. and later on hearing these names mentioned in various... And now they're legends. Various media. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much Doctor Who, Pip and Jane Baker might have wrote. I don't think they're no, particularly yeah. famous they're ones, but... In any I'm way related to either Colin Baker or Tom Baker. Sorry for saying, oh, the, they, saying those two names in that order. I have no idea. <laughs> but um, I, I'm, like, 90% sure that they were involved. Hmm. I'm 100% Russell T. Davis was involved. <laughs> I know that. Yeah, I've, I've heard true. that name being tossed around now and then. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, fret not, the well, Rawmeister is going to catch up on Doctor Who by watching what we've discussed so far yeah. uh, on Who Back When, and also catch up um, by listening to Who Back When reviews alongside watching it. So mm-hmm. he will be basically, not basically, he will be exactly at the same point where I am right now. Yeah, eventually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, yeah. I'll be getting up to speed as quickly as I can. Yeah. And by the way, we're about to record our first review right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is going to so, be awesome. Yeah, going into this with uh, an open mind. <laughs> <laughs> the open mind of a massive sceptic. Not not I'm a massive sceptic about Doctor Who, I'm just, you know, largely ignorant about it, that's all. Oh, so am I. So I don't know what, I don't know, it's exciting. I yeah, don't yeah. know what's uh, what's coming. I, think I, you're the I know Daleks are coming, there's bound to be some fucking Daleks. Oh dude, just wait for it. The I next episode things. is, the next episode is, is kick-ass. Yeah. You're not, you're, spoiler alert, no Daleks. But the one after that is going to be the first Peter Cushing movie. Awesome. And that's got Daleks. Are you ready to watch some Doctor Who and talk about it? Yeah. Yeah. This awesome. is going to be, this is going to kick so much ass, <laughs> it's going to literally blow everyone's mind hole. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Don't oversell this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much uh, for tuning into this little bonus app. You're going to enjoy this. Spoiler alert, you're going to love the Rawmeister. So, like us on Facebook. <laughs> I'm not on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> He's not on Twitter, guys. I am. <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Pumpkin. It, they're going to hate me. I'm not on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> if I get lots of hate mail, let's read it out. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh, we no. should do a bonus episode where we just read out troll emails. That'd be amazing. That'd be a great, mm-hmm. great episode. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you very much for tuning in. We're going to catch you. The first episode that we're doing, uh, that Rawmeister and I are doing together, is going to be The Time Meddler, so check that out. That's the time meddler, that already intrigues me. Oh my god, dude, dude you are... It, this. I mean, try, try not to get a boner. Well, many it's of my favourite things involve meddling with time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so check that out. Be rad and excellent to each other, guys. <laughs> Ciao. Do you have yeah, a catchphrase? Agree, yeah, agree. Agree. <laughs> catchphrase, yeah. <laughs> I'll try a new catchphrase every episode and see what sticks. Nice. Um, so, yippee ki motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Ciao. Who back when? when?